be excited, Cedar is up. Welcome her. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I thought today I would share with you a one simple way that you can deepen your relationships, help your children succeed in school and in life, and even strengthen your own mind. Reading aloud, all it takes is a little bit of time out of your life and some trust. In psychology today, they talk about the fact that we spend so much time plugged in that it can actually weaken our minds. The families scatter, and when they do come together, we're looking at computers or the television or our phones, and these things lead to um, the family becoming more loosely bound together. And the Department of Justice says that the link between academic failure, delinquency, violence, and crime is welded together by reading failure. The reading that is very important for children, but it's also important for um, adults. Amanda Craig, in writing for the Times, said that um, reading aloud used to be a very common thing that was done in families. In the evening, they'd gather around and they'd read together. You might be wondering how reading aloud has to do with marriage, but marriages today tend to lack intimacy. And I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about playful closeness and engagement of the minds in a mutual way. So I know that a lot of you are very young and you may not be married or have kids, but begin as you mean to go on, just for one another and then later for your future children. So reading aloud can deepen your relationships, can instruct your children and help them improve, and it can even make your own mind stronger. The Handbook of Structured Techniques in Marriage and Family Therapy says that agreeing on when and what to read could facilitate communication between partners. And it actually fosters a more trustful communication. It could facilitate that bonding. Um, MIT, talking about reading to your children in their book, Textual Tinkerability, talks about how reading to children promotes critical thinking, thoughtful dialogue, and it says that one of the most important activities parents can do to prepare their children for school is to read with them. I grew up reading aloud, being read aloud to, my mother read aloud to us every evening. Then later on, once I learned how to read, and I learned how to read very early, I think I was at probably four, my mom says, I don't remember ever not being able to read. That's how far back it was. <laughs> but once I got older, probably not until I was six or seven, we would read aloud in turn. So this has the effect of I was very successful in school, and we have some really precious family memories, my sisters and I do, of reading and the books that we read to one another. Now I know that you're sitting here and you're thinking, gosh, when I read, I feel really self-conscious and awkward. I don't know if I can do that and read to somebody else. Francesca Simon, a best-selling children's author, said this, a lot of people are very self-conscious about how to read. My husband has dyslexia, and he was very anxious every time he had to read out loud. But doing it year after year, he became fluent in reading. Another concern you might have is about time. I don't have time for this. I don't have time to sit down and read. I, I'm gone to go all the time. Well, Statistic.com says that the average American spends 734 minutes a day consuming media. And that's television and radio and computer internet time. But 734 minutes, surely you can take 30 minutes to give as a gift to your loved ones when reading loud time. So by doing this, we can look for it and see that we have, we can create a family with deeper bonds. We can create successful children who go on to live better lives through being able to read and 
think more clearly. And did I mention the Journal of Gerontology says that by reading aloud, we actually strengthen our own cognitive abilities, and this can even ward off the onset of dementia. So by reading aloud, stepping out of your comfort zone, and taking some time, some trust, and doing this, you can help yourself. So take the time to read, even if it's just a few minutes a day at first. Go home, talk to your loved ones. If you haven't got anyone, read to your pets. It's still <laughs> doing the activity and if you read for 27 days, it will become a habit. Step out of your comfort zones. Read out loud and proud. I often read aloud to my fiance, but it hasn't been deliberate, it hasn't been planned. Today, I'm going to go home. I'm going to record a story for my children because they aren't living with me right now. I'm going to send it to them and I'm going to read something funny to my beloved. And I would like to ask you to consider doing the same thing. 